What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I literally just woke up now. Like, maybe, maybe like 20, 30 minutes ago. Uh, I know a couple of you guys have been sending me some DMs saying I needed to check out um, the steel cage match between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. And um, I had to check it out. I had to make time for that this morning because I just had a feeling it was going to be a, a very good match. And I was spot on. This was, in my opinion, one of the better steel cage matches I've seen in a while on like just free television. So we're going to talk about that and we're going to kind of dive into Biggie winning the Intercontinental Championship and Daniel Bryan beating Jay Uso. So I want to start <clears throat> losing my damn voice. I want to start with uh, Big E winning the Intercontinental Championship. They ended off the show with him winning it. They had the confetti and everything. And um, I didn't really watch the match. I kind of watched highlights, but I knew they were feuding Big E and uh, Sami Zayn. And I'm okay with Big E winning. I think it's been about time for Big E to obtain a uh, a singles championship and and actually make a legitimate singles run. He's always been paired up with somebody. If you guys remember, he was paired up with Dolph Ziggler for a minute and then they put him with the New Day. And it's one of those things where I'm I'm glad that he is in the situation that he's in now. He absolutely deserves to be the Intercontinental Champion, and I hope that they actually give him some pretty good feuds going into 2021, and that way we can start to see his main main event potential, because he actually is pretty good on the microphone. He's not bad. He has a nice move set. He looks the part of a main event type guy. It's just he has to get that single solo run um, just kind of get that going and get that momentum going. So them ending off the show with Big E was a big plus. Obviously, Vince McMahon and people in the back, they're high on Big E right now. And it'll be interesting to see where they take this feud with Sammy and Big E. Or is it going to end here and they're going to start with somebody else? Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I may actually start checking out some more Intercontinental matches just to see what they do with Big E and how they present him as the Intercontinental Champion. I've always said, and a lot of people agree with this, the Intercontinental Champion is always the stepping stone or was supposed to be the stepping stone for a main event talent to get that push. So if... If they, you know, liking his work and he put on some pretty good matches and have some good fuse and they have a good storyline for him for these next couple of months, depending on how long he holds the title, he could potentially at some point maybe go for Roman Reigns. Who knows? So, all right. We talked about that. They ended off the show with him. It was it was it was a nice feel good moment. Let's talk about Daniel Bryan and Jay Uso. Jay Uso, man, he is be. He has literally become one of the most annoying people in like on on the SmackDown roster for sure. It's like he's a heel, but he's a heel by default. He's only a heel to prove his worth to Roman. You can tell he didn't initially want it to be a heel, but now he's bought into the Roman is the top dog, the tribal chief uh gimmick. So it's like all right, whatever, I'm going to just do this to show that I'm loyal to the family. So he has been annoying at every turn, and it was so good to see Daniel Bryan get his 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 win against Jay Uso, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. I think they're planting seeds between uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. I think that may be the next few because he just beat Jay Uso and Jay Uso tried to get the upper hand and attack him before the damn match started so he is really Jay has really stepped up his game in the heel department you hate to see him out there like you want to see him get destroyed because he's so annoying so I think that's an interesting dynamic comment down below let me know if y'all think uh Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan may be the next potential feud i sign me up I'm, I'm all for it if that's the case and of course, none other than arguably one of the, if I'm going to just be honest with you, this was my favorite match of the night, hands down, the steel cage match. They started off the show with it. Um, 
this is definitely a main event worthy match, but I understand why they didn't make it the the main event match only because they wanted to end it off on a feel good moment for Big E. But yeah, this was one of my favorite cage matches I've seen in a very long time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Usually when they have a cage match nowadays, I don't really care for it because it's just it's kind of I don't really care for it to be honest with you. But this I definitely was invested in. This match was so good. I had to take a couple of notes, man. Kevin Owens, he is, they have really made him look strong in defeat twice. They have made this man look like a god as a babyface, and that is how you do that. You want your babyface, even if they lose, to look good in defeat, and this is one of those situations. They've done it twice, man. One of the spots that I had to mention, the fire, I said fireman, the fisherman's buster from the middle rope. Kevin Owens hit this move. You, It looked like uh, Roman was going for a suplex, and Kevin Owens reversed it, hit this move, looked very devastating, could have ended the match right there, but Roman, uh, Roman was able to capitalize because uh, Kevin Owens wasn't able to cover him at the, after he hit that move because that was brutal. It looked like it hurt. Um... Roman is applying the guillotine on Kevin Owens. This is another nice little spot. Roman applies the guillotine to Kevin Owens while Kevin Owens is against the fence and the rope. So he has him. Roman Reigns is on the other side of the rope. Kevin Owens is against the fence, and he, he has the guillotine. Like, there's no way for Kevin to get out. Kevin uses his, you know, his wits about him, and he starts choking Roman on the top rope. It was a nice, resilient spot. It showed you that KO is not going anywhere, bro. KO is not, he's he he's going to fight, and I love that. Uh, another nice spot, uh, I didn't even take this down in, in my notes. It was just a nice transition that I had to, I knew I was going to remember. Kevin Owens tries to hit a swanton bomb from the top. Roman Reigns gets his knees up, and when I say, bro, it, Oh, my goodness. Roman hitting a spear. His spears look so much devastating now. I don't know if y'all noticed that. His spears look like he's trying to spear your soul from your body. Like, it looks intense. Kevin Owens kicking out of that, bro, after that whole exchange. Not even going to lie to you. It's one of those things where Roman's face is selling like, what do I have to do to beat this guy? I can't beat this guy. And you start to buy in that Kevin Owens could possibly do it. And that's how you make a good match. You want your matches to be believable. The TLC match was so believable. I, there was multiple points I thought Kevin was going to win. And the same thing here, man. This was fantastic as a steel cage match. Uh, Then, of course, you knew Jay was going to get involved. Jay comes out. He basically handcuffs Kevin Owens to the uh to the steel cage. And Kevin Owens can't get out. He's stuck. Like he's he's handcuffed. So at this point, Roman Reigns, just a smug asshole. He just walks out. He could beat his ass if he wanted to, but he just walks out. He literally looks at him. He's talking trash. And he walks out. He walks out the uh the ring. Step by step, very slowly, just watching him. Just like, yo, bro, this is, you know what I'm saying? This was going to happen. And what I loved about it, bro, Kevin Owens, had he still has fight. He was kind of busted open a little bit on the forehead, but he still has some fight in him. He was like, yo, you're a bitch, Roman. You are a bitch. Bro, I'm like, yo, this is so good, man. Yo, this is so good. Now, I watched this on... um on this free website that I have. So a lot of times if I do miss the show or whatnot, I can just watch like the whole show on this website that I have. But I don't know if they kind of bleeped him, like bleeped out his curse words on live television, but on the show, on the website, I was watching it. I, I don't know if it's like just raw and unedited or whatnot, or whatnot, but he was cursing. You can hear it and they didn't bleep it out. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys watched it on TV. Did y'all hear Kevin Owens say, you're a bitch? He said it not once, but twice. He's like, you're a bitch, Roman. You're a bitch. I was like, yo, this is so good. And Roman Reigns is talking trash. He has the title, just rubbing it in his face. Like, yeah, I got the job done. And it's like, Kevin Owens is like, bro, you, Jay had to help you. You can't beat me one-on-one. -on -one. So I would be interested in them having one more match. I'm not going to lie to you because this match was a very good television match. 
You could have damn near put this on the pay-per-view. This was a good television match. If they would have gave them a couple more minutes, this would have been a pay-per-view caliber type match. But nevertheless, I want to see them have one more match. I don't know how they set it up. I don't know what they do. But if they do have one more match, I want Kevin Owens to pretty much, he would have to destroy Jey Uso. And we're talking about he would have to destroy him the day of the match because he knows either destroy him so bad that he's gone for weeks off television or he destroys him the day of whatever match they have and he ev eviscerates him. Not like he did at TLC where Jey Uso was able to limp, limp back out to the ring. I'm talking about they have to cart him. They got him in a neck brace. They have to cart him off to the hospital. And he has never seen from again for weeks because he is so annoying that you have to do that. And then you still have Roman win the match. You know, I'm sure you'll have Roman win by some cheating ways or maybe you just have him win within the whatever stipulation match they have. You just have him win the match like, yo, I still got the job done without my, you know, with my cousin being in a hospital. So. I would love to see that, man. I, I want them to have at least one more match because this feud has been entertaining. And right now, he Kevin Owens is looking like one of the top baby faces because of how they've built, built him up in these past couple of weeks against Roman Reigns. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys would be interested in having one more match between Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. But overall, that's the only segments I really checked out from SmackDown this week. It was a decent show, not a bad show. I think what helped it out is obviously Big E winning, Daniel Bryan getting back in the ring, getting some revenge on Jey Uso, and of course, in my opinion, the best match of the night, uh, the steel cage match. So overall, better. It, it was an enjoyable uh, Christmas episode. A lot of times those Christmas episodes can be kind of cringe, but this was uh, it was really good. I, I enjoyed it for just the parts that I did see. I'm, I'm willing to bet this show was miles better than uh, than uh, Monday Night Raw this past week because I heard a lot of people say Monday Night Raw was god awful. So it seems like SmackDown is the A show and has been the A show A show since Roman Reigns has come back. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed SmackDown. If you guys enjoyed uh, the Steel Cage match. Are you guys happy and excited that uh, Big E is the new Intercontinental Champion? And where do you think Daniel Bryan will be feuding? Well, who he will be feuding with next? Do you think Roman Reigns is in uh, in the uh, the path of Daniel Bryan and they have a, a nice feud with each other? Let's find out and let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 40K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.